to 3-2 and I'm going to break this up into two parts because there's quite a bit in this. Uh, I'm going to be uh, going through some of these examples fairly quick. I may have to do a proof um, of these properties on a separate video because I'm not going to do justice to them here. We're just going to cover the notes that we're going to cover in class and in class I'll expand probably on a couple of these. But if uh, you need to review um, 3-1 real quick please do so and then come back here alright so we're going to view these properties uh, these four primary properties that we're going to play around with initially there's going to be some other ones here in the near future so what we have is given our first property log base a of 1 is equal to a 0 well that's pretty self-evident because if I convert this into exponents I would have a to the 0 and that of course is going to be 1 that's one of our exponent rules and the same kind of reasoning goes to here. If I raise a to the first power, convert this to to uh, exponent, I'm going to get a. Now these two are critical properties, and we really, should, if I'm going to rewrite the course, I'd probably put this one up here first, and, and then our inverse second, because one to one is critical. When we talked about inverses before in functions, we did a composite, where we did f of g of x. If they're inverses, we're going to get x. And that's kind of what's going on here with this. Um, so inverses can be a little tricky in logs, but if we convert this to a, um, an exponent, say I go a to the x, and it's going to equal to what's inside here, is equal to a to the x. Well, that's like an identity property. So we know that x is going to equal to x. Um, and on this one right here, this gets really tricky and there's a well I won't get into that property just yet but um what's going on here is I can rewrite let me do this log a to the x this is an identity log a to the x okay log base a to the x okay and that's like an identity I can turn this into an exponent form because I'm base a I could raise this to the power a log base a to the of x is equal to um, it's going to turn out to equal to x. It's going to equal to this right here. Oops, my, my writing pad sometimes goes wacko. There we go. Okay, um, so this is going to be another one of our identities. And this ties into our one and one to one. Uh, if you remember from uh, inverse functions, for every x there's one y, and for one y there's one x. So if we have a situation like this where we have an equation where we have the same base logs equal to two different things, um, x and y. x and y must be equal to one another. So we can solve some equations that way. Let's look at some examples. Now on your notes, these are blank. There's no x's here, okay, or y's, or whatever letter you want to put. Sometimes it's helpful for a student to go ahead and put an x there, because what you can do is this. You can do 4 to the x is equal to 1 if you forgot your identity and go, oh, wait a second, x has to equal to 0, because that would make that, um, your exponent identity. So here we have the same thing. 7 to what power is equal to 7? Well, x has to equal to 1. Now we're going back to our inverse thing. A lot of students just cancel that out and put 20 is equal to x, which is perfectly fine. I do that too. Um, but again, I'll probably do the proof in class, and I'll probably have to do a YouTube video on this proof as well. It is pretty fascinating on how these play with each other. All right, so moving on, here we have um, where we can start solving some equations using our one-to-one -one concept. Same base, same base, so that's going to equal to 12, not much to it. Same thing going on here. We're going to maybe complex, um, make the equations a little bit more complicated, but this is base 10, that's base 10, so we can just do 2x plus 1 is equal to x, subtract x, and subtract that positive 1. So this is how we do a lot of things in, in, uh, with no calculator, which many of you will experience when you head off to college. A lot of schools don't allow calculators in the classroom. All right, now natural logs, another massive topic in mathematics. And it's just the same property. Just recall that log base E of X is so common, we just write it in a special log form, ln of X. Of course, X is greater than zero. The exact same property properties. Nothing has changed on all these. 
So we're going to treat it just the same. Now, oh, my kitty's trying to come in. Hello, kitty. Um, so write the exponential equations of log form. So what we can do is we can take the log on both sides. We can do ln because this is e. I'm going to definitely use ln. I could use log base 10, log base 7. I could have done anything, but what I do to one side, I better do to the other. And of course, if I could write it like this, and it may look more familiar. These just cancel out, and I'm going to have x is equal to ln of 4. Okay. This next one, evaluate g of x. So be careful on this because it's actually asking you to put in g of x. So g, this x is there, so I'm going to put in e to 3. So g of e to the 3, don't jump up here, kitty, and is equal to, well, let's go plug it in, okay? Um, figure out what's going on. We're going to plug it into ln of x right here, ln of e to the 3, all right? Well, that's going back to one of our identities. We have log base e, e to the 3. That's going to knock that out. It's simply going to equal to 3. There's another property I don't believe I have talked about that this could come to the front. And that's probably going to be another proof I'm going to have to do. Okay, And that's just going to equal to 3. All righty. Lots of proofs in this. But this is not a proof-based course. Um, I would like to turn it into one in the future. So here we're going to use our one-to-one -one property, same log, same log. So this is going to equal to that. And we just simply solve this basic equation. Subtract x, get rid of that negative 3, and we have x is equal to 10. Alrighty. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one posted and get part 2 up and running here in a second.